Okay, Pete, or Glenn, here you go. Here's some video of the canopy working. Uh, not using the stock module, as you're aware, we're having kind of, I'm having problems with it, getting it to work with the Futaba system. But I have been able to get uh, it to work with a retract module that comes with the MiG-29 uh, and like other airplanes. Same thing, it work with the retract module that's in here too. It's just the other module that didn't work. Anyway, here we go. It seats down very nice. The front of the windscreen, or actually, should I say, the front of the canopy actually slips underneath the windscreen so the air is flowing over it instead of undering it. This is the same thing they did with the uh, A-10. Try and zoom in for you a little bit here. Get a focus on the... You'll see it when it comes down. It actually slips right down underneath that windscreen. Not the best camera in the world, guys, so apologize for the auto-focusing. Pulls back, goes up. The worm gear motor that's used in this is the same that's in the retract worm gear system uh, that comes with most of the LX models. Same thing that's on this one, except a little different style of gear. Down again. And you'll see that it sits down really nice on the cockpit floor too there. Not a whole lot of gaps since it's not glued around. I don't have the best lighting but the back end of it when it's actuated you'll see it lift up and then slide back. There's the whole airplane. The wings, I've been able to get to work if you buy a EMS module from Tower Hobbies. Electric retract module from EMS works as a substitute to go around this module so you can still get the wings to work. So it's two separate modules now instead of just one. EMS module works great. This is with the Futaba 12FG and these new chipset voltage requirements, which is 2.7. I've tried amplifiers. They don't work, or they're not working. The amplifiers are good, but they're, they're still not doing the, what's needed to uh, get the stock module working. And I have it on a two-position switch. See if I can get zoomed in on the actual wing folding mechanism there. Let you guys see more of it when it's cycling. There's three servos, one in each wing that actuates the pulls the wings down and up, and one servo in the middle of fuselage, uh, which is a metal gear servo that pulls that carbon fiber rod you see poking out there, which is spring loaded to the out position and strings tied to it on the outside in the knots that pulls it inboard. Pulls it in, wing goes down. Whoops, kind of stuck there for a second. Then it releases the rod into the wing. Pulls it back in, delay, wing goes up. 
delay hits again and it lets the rod back out.